Hey guys, it's Alyssa Marie here. Welcome back to my channel. So today I want to talk all about one of my favorite things to do when it comes to putting on makeup and that is brows. I know multiple people have different techniques and there's all these different brow products out there so it can be sometimes a little bit confusing to figure out what works for you. So I figured I would just jump on here and give a quick rundown of how I like to do my brows and what I use to do them. For me personally, I prefer a more natural looking brow. My features are a little bit too soft to have my brows like beat to the gods every single day, so that's kind of my preference, but I'm gonna show you guys how I like to wear my brows regularly, plus how I clean them up and make them beat to the gods for when I'm going out for a special occasion. So if you're interested in seeing how I like to get my brows on point, then just continue to watch. All right, so I'm all zoomed in, all up close and personal, so you guys can really see what's going on. So my favorite brow product to use is my Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz, and I wear the shade Dark Chocolate. I really love to use brow pencils. To me, I find that pencils allow me to do my brows the quickest and to make them look the most natural. I also do love the ABH brow powders. I think they make your eyebrows look even more natural than the pencil does. But like I said, I find that I can go a little bit quicker with the pencil. Anything that saves time is kind of what I go for. So to start, I always go in with the spoolie end of the brow wiz and just brush my brows out into the right direction. All right, and then I'm gonna go in with the pencil and I always like to start by the inner side of my brow. So I always start with super light strokes to start forming a line at the bottom. The reason why I like to start at the bottom is because this is going to kind of dictate the whole shape of the brow. Once the bottom line is kind of carved out, then I move to the top and mimic that same shape at the top. Again, you want to use very light pressure when you are applying your brow pencil because you don't want the lines to be too sharp because then that's when your brow is going to look fake. So now that we've kind of got the shape of our eyebrow going, I'm gonna go ahead and just start filling in the middle. I focus a lot more products on my tail end because I like for that to be nice and dark. And then I use lighter pressure as I move on to the inside of the brow. When I get to the inside of the brow, I like to draw the lines straight up. I really just like to follow in the direction of the hairs. This is going to allow for your brows to look the most natural. Alright, then I'm just going to go in with the spoolie end and kind of just diffuse out the product so it looks even more natural. This is a good trick to use, especially if you feel like you've applied a little bit too much makeup. All right, so that is it for this brow. You can see that it looks a lot different. I have very sparse brows. So this makes like a huge difference to my face. So I'm just going to go ahead and use the same technique to do the other brow. So again, starting at the inner corner of my eyebrow and using super light weight and just underlining the bottom part of my brow. Okay, and then once the bottom is outlined, we're going to move to the top and just do the same outline at the top. And then we just go ahead and fill in. All right, so this is how I would keep my brows like on the daily. My brow pencil is actually the one thing I cannot live without. I can go without foundation, without powder, everything else but brows are a must. So on the daily, this is kind of how I like to do my brows. But if I wanted my brows to look a little bit more sharp and crisp and defined, I will go in with concealer and clean up the bottom part. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you how I like to do that. I'm just using this really small flat brush and I'm just dipping the brush into my cream concealer stick. And then it's super simple, you want to just use the concealer to kind of outline directly below the brow and this is just going to sharpen the line like dramatically and make your brows look on fleek, like snatched. Boom! This is how you snatch that brow. 
Any kind of concealer can work. I like to stay with one that's like slightly lighter than my brow so it gives us that little bit of highlight, but not too much lighter because you don't want to look crazy. And in terms of consistency, I actually prefer how the cream concealer blends out. I just, it's just my preference. So I'm gonna go in and snatch the other brow. Alright guys, so that's it for this tutorial. Brows are definitely one of my favorite parts about doing makeup. I feel like brows can like make or break your look, 100%. I really hope you found this video helpful. If you enjoyed it, please go ahead and give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't already subscribed, please go ahead and do so, so you can keep up with me and my natural hair journey and my makeup journey, and we could just become good friends, okay? Thanks again for watching, guys. I'll catch you in my next video. Bye.